Well, we have started off the day here with some heavy snowfall across the valley on the front end of a storm system that is going to bring major impacts to a large part of the United States. It already really has. This is a look outside on the WKBN weather camera. You can still see some of the snow coming down there, but it is starting to mix with uh, some rain this morning. But that certainly did not stop uh, the accumulation. We got some accumulation on the roadways, on the grassy areas. It's one of those cases where the snowfall rates were heavy enough to overcome the fact that temperature are above freezing. Now, uh, temperatures have dropped off a, a, little, a few degrees here, 33 in Camfield, 34 in Hubbard, 35 right now in the Mercer area. This is a look at the Storm Team 27 Viper Radar. Notice that the pink is really starting to increase and get closer and closer to the valley, and that means the precipitation will start to change over to some rain later on today. I mean, look at this storm system, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, quite the uh, beast of a storm system, bringing uh, blizzard-like conditions up there to the Great Plains and other parts of the Midwest. Thunderstorms, severe weather down in the southeast. This is your typical wintertime powerful uh, cyclone that we are seeing all across the United States here. By this afternoon, the future tracker shows the rain continuing. Uh, temperatures in the low 40s. They warm up into the mid 40s by 5 o'clock. It's going to be one of those interesting days where we actually hit our high temperature after the sun sets. We'll see those high temperatures in the upper 40s later on today. Lots of rain showers, though, continuing. Eventually, though, cold front kind of starts to move through our area as highlighted by the uh, elevated areas of precipitation on the future tracker. That starts to bring temperatures back down into the mid-30s. And then by tomorrow morning, once again, I'll be tracking some areas of rain and snow showers. And throughout the show, we'll have uh, some snow showers that are uh, flying all across the valley. Could see some light accumulations uh, from this as well. And then the snow will kind of uh, continue throughout the day tomorrow with those temperatures a little bit cooler than uh, what we are going to deal with uh, for high temperatures today. Another aspect of the storm system are the wind gusts. These are the wind gusts here, uh, projected wind gusts uh, over 40 miles per hour out of the south and east as this storm system gets closer and closer to our area. Uh, later on uh, tonight, the uh, winds will kind of uh, go out of the southwest, which will bring in some cooler air uh, to our area. And then once again, by tomorrow, we could see those winds gusting to around uh, 35 miles per hour once again. So uh, get ready to experience quite a bit of wind. Wind advisory in effect for Trumbull, Mercer, and Lawrence counties until later on tonight. While Mahoning and uh, Columbiana counties do not have uh, the wind advisory, still going to see gusty winds there. So uh, despite the fact that the snow is going to melt away, these uh, driving conditions are still going to be hazardous, especially if you have high profile vehicles like a van, a big truck. The wind is going to be strong enough to kind of uh, push these uh, vehicles around. And then, of course, we have the rain on top of that uh, coming uh, later on. So just watch out for some of that and we're going to see quite a bit of rainfall from this storm system, likely over an inch of rain. And if you combine that with uh, some of the snow that has fallen this morning, quite a bit of precipitation. So high temperatures in the upper 40 southeast wind sustained 20 to 25 miles per hour, gust up to 40 miles per hour. And this seven day outlook is crazy. I'm telling you, snow showers Wednesday, a chance of snow showers Thursday. Another big storm system arrives Friday and Saturday, similar, uh, very similar to this storm system, except that on Saturday, those temperatures are going to plummet. They'll likely be in the 20s uh, by the end of the day. Lots of wind. Winds could be even stronger than what we are going to see today. So quite a big storm system. And then the cherry on top with everything is we have cold air, very cold air, likely the coldest air of the season coming in Sunday and Monday there. Temperatures dropping down into the 20s. Low temperatures likely as we head later on into the week. Next week will be in the single digits. So I am very busy this week, and that's something that I'll continue to talk to you about uh, throughout the rest of the work week.